congratulations on uh, the victory. I think you kept the score for about 50 odd minutes. Uh, maybe just want to please tell us about that performance. At one stage, it felt like we wanted to give them points. Um, no, just a, a bit of errors in, in, in our back 40, back 50, uh, in skill errors plus penalties. If you're going to keep Leinster uh, attacking ball in that, that zone, you have to really defend well. And I think, I think that's probably the, what I'm the proudest about is it's the fight in defence, the character in defence, the willingness to keep them out. Um, I think in the 80 minutes, it's probably our best character fight, uh, probably the season, which Obviously, uh, well done to the players. It's, it's really good, and then to to have some counter attack uh, from scraps and, and from ball on ground uh, to then finish it off is obviously uh, delightful. If you work that hard in defence and get opportunity to, to then use it, it's, it's good to see. How much time did you spend this week poring over footage from last year, corresponding matches? Because obviously, defence and game management. To be honest, Liam, not that much. <laughs> um, we we currently, I don't want to say too much around, but we're currently in a focus on us and focus in the moment. Um, so we don't want to go back too far. Almost digging digging up old cows. Um, we did we did speak about it that if you if you are going to make uh, easy areas or you are going to give them turnover attack, they're really good. Uh, if you are going to make, like we said, penalties and you're going to give them access to your 22, they're really good there, so um, we did speak about lessons learned, definitely, but we didn't spend a lot of energy on that. Marius, did you relive a bit of your school days at Open Sida, you know, all the turnovers on the ground today? Um, yeah, I think, you know, we, we knew that if we were going to dominate uh, tackles, there will be opportunities to, you know, we focus more on counter-rucking. Second efforts after we've made a positive hit, so um, yeah, I think we definitely slowed the ball down a few times like that. You know, especially Lens on quick ball is not good enough. So um, yeah, we, we had a big focus on second efforts and the breakdown, and I thought we did that well. I think uh, one or two penalties off that, so it's probably just getting a few more repetitions and reading game situation in every breakdown. You must be really impressed. I mean, um, there was a willingness to see from Leicester to play a bit more in close quarters, you know, in their faces and stuff. But you must be really, really proud with how you guys stood up. You know, it seemed like you were when, when it became when it became close. You know, close quarters, um, the action seemed like you guys were basically movable. <laughs> yeah, I think um, we knew we knew Leicester attack quite tight because. They want to punch you in a bit and then they take you out wide. Uh, second half, they spread the ball a little bit more. Um, but we could see that they were getting tired keeping the ball for multi phases, and that's why they were just getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And, and uh, I think our line speed forced them back inside and they got a little bit rewarded um, because our catch, catch up wasn't working hard enough. Um, I think we sorted that out as well. Um, and then, yeah, I think from there on we were able to get turnovers. And, and then because they were tight, uh, attacking tight, there were spaces out there. Even uh, given the performance of defence, how do you bottle that and put the lid? The next game, the next game, the next I think Jock has got half of that answer. Uh, no, I think, Liam, we, we're back against the wall uh, in terms of it's must win games for us. Uh, so the, it kind of goes hand in hand with that. Every time we've really been back against the wall this season, we got that. Um, so, like I said, the, the trick is to to reproduce that next weekend against Munster. Um, I know there were a whole whack full of good performances actually and stuff, but just talking about like like Leo Cullen also said, you know, the real trick is rotation in this tournament, but also to build the depth and stuff. But I was just wondering very, very slowly but surely a guy like Morgan is adding to that depth, you know, that you have in the front with Asi and Dreyer and um, the hookers and everyone. Just just how have you felt about his progress, you know, since it was sort of like considered a bit of a bargain buy from the Pumas and stuff and he took his time with his injuries and all those things, but how do you feel it seems like he laid down a marker almost in his scrumming and his general play today? I think he's the he's the perfect picture of a modern prop. Uh, especially at loose so he was unfortunate with a couple of injuries that almost hindered that spurt of him coming through but I don't know, that's about eight or nine in a row where he, he's playing and he's getting good minutes and he's training well so uh, really happy with where we are currently it's it's nice 
seeing a, a guy that's been in the wilderness with three injuries, getting a stint and, and getting that flow going. So yeah, I think he was, he was really good today. Special think you guys' biggest problem this season has been consistency. So, you know, how do you sort of hold on this thing to a very big game against Munster where, you know, they were, they're pretty much the full spring. Um, they would have been a, up on the high felt for a bit longer than if they were flying from overseas. And, uh, you know, they'll be quite fired up, probably get side for the full extra week. Um, so how do you sort of hold on into that one? Um, I don't think altitude will play a role with them. Um, they've been here for about 12 or 10 days by, by next Saturday, so that, that shouldn't really be an issue. Um, I think it's a good, honest review. They, they're still a fair bit that, that we can fix from today and making sure that we keep on building on what's working for us and, and almost making sure we keep that identity of game model currently which we feel when, when we get it right uh, we're really dangerous um, sticking to the basics make sure we, we do our basics very well and Marius in terms of I think you guys have been talking a lot about belief you know belief building into these last few games to try and make that top eight you know what do you think that a result like this does for you you know although it was a bit of a second string team you know completely different from last year where you guys fell apart in that second half instead you guys kicked on towards the end and secured a big win so does this now really fire up that belief you know give you guys the uh, you know to go on and secure the <coughs> spot yeah i think we need to make sure we stick to our processes take it game for game because um, I mean, you can't think too far ahead. I mean, you have to win next week to be able to stay in it. It's so tight on the log that anything can happen. So we have to make sure that, like Coach Cash mentioned, we stick to what we do we, uh, and we manage the game as best as possible. Um, yes, obviously giving Leinster 40 odd is definitely a confidence booster. And, um, I mean, it, it will definitely lift Monster for next week as well. So um, that should be able to lift us even more. And then just one last question, Cash. Um, the one part you guys did really struggle with uh, today seemed to be the lineups. Uh, what sort of went wrong there, and uh, is that something you guys want to address this week? Yeah, obviously we we, um, we need to look at it. We, we did lose a couple of vital ones. Um, I don't think it's a, it's a big thing. Probably a little bit of timing. Um, I, I don't want to blame the crowd, but what I'm saying is it was actually quite loud seeing, seeing so many Guys coming out to support us. Um, so I just think it's a timing thing. Um, it's not a big thing, Leonard was. And wh while I mentioned the crowd, um, thanks for everyone that came out, getting eight or ten or whatever thousand people against the Irish team here is, is awesome. Um, it felt like a lot more uh, with, with energy. So keep on coming out. The team can feel it, the team enjoy it, and let's make Joba great. Have you guys? Okay, yeah. no, thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Thanks, everyone.